Understanding the phrase, wild goose chase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, wild goose chase. This phrase is often used in English conversations, and understanding it can really enhance your language skills. So, let's dive in and unravel the meaning and usage of wild goose chase. The phrase, wild goose chase, has an interesting history. It originally referred to a type of horse race in the 16th century, where riders would follow a led horse in a formation similar to geese flying in the wild. This race was unpredictable, just like the flight pattern of geese. Over time, the meaning evolved. Today, it describes a situation where someone is pursuing something that is extremely hard to catch or achieve almost like trying to chase wild geese. In modern contexts, a wild goose chase refers to a futile or hopeless pursuit. It's used to describe situations where someone is putting effort into something that is unlikely to yield results. For example, if you're looking for a book in a library without knowing the title or the author, you might be on a wild goose chase. It highlights the pointless or fruitless nature of an endeavor. Let's see how this phrase is used in sentences. Trying to find my lost earring in the park felt like a wild goose chase. He sent me on a wild goose chase looking for a document that didn't exist. These examples show how the phrase is commonly used to express frustration or futility in everyday situations. While, wild goose chase, is the standard expression, there are variations. People might say they are, on a wild goose chase, or that someone, led them on a wild goose chase. The meaning remains the same, emphasizing a pointless or unproductive task. I hope this video has made the phrase, wild goose chase, clear and easy to understand. It's a colorful way to express the idea of a futile pursuit in English. Remember, language is not just about words, but also the stories and history behind them. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next language exploration.